Hello, 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 my lovelies. It is so nice to be speaking to you again. Um, hopefully it's as nice for you too. Um, welcome, if you're watching. Um, I am now crouched down on my stool and I've got the plate out because I'm going to show you my uh, second ceramic collection of pots that I have just made. Hurrah! How camp is that? Um, anyway, um, cheers my lovelies. Oh. Anyway, right, I'm crouched down to try and keep in the video because I couldn't get said plate and said face in picture. So the pots are more important, so if I'm a bit cut off here, who cares? Right, so I've got eight or nine new pots. Um, as I said in my last pot, ceramic pot video, um, I, I think I did anyway, that I've been using the local potters uh, uh, in our area to use their kilns to fire my pots in and I've gone, gone to them to glaze them and, and what have you. Um, the great news is, is that I, I'm going to do a lot more of this. I'm really getting into these ceramics. Um, I've fallen in love with them and I have uh, ordered my first kiln. Um, it is being delivered as we speak. So hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. Um, so I'll be able to do, I mean, now I'm going into that kind of expense. I'm going to make, be making a lot more pottery. Um, so watch on if you're uh, interested. Um, right, so without further ado, I'm just going to show you this next collection. Oh my God. I'm Anyway, <laughs> first of all, I shall show you this beauty. You might not be able to see it on the screen so easily in that distance, so I'm going to hold them all up to show you. But look at the colouring in this with these smoky grey colours blending into the orange. It's absolutely adorable. I love it. And the shapes that I'm producing, they're all individual shapes. They're not all samey samey. I'm trying to do as much different shapes as possible. So I concentrate on that when I start each part. Like what shapes shall I do now? I even look up pictures of shapes of vases and things on the internet. And then think, right, I'll try that one and what have you. I even went into our lounge the other night and uh, tried to make one the same shape as a great big table lamp we've got. I mean, it's massive, great big ceramic thing. But the actual shape of it was sort of like a ginger jar. That one I can't show you because it's new clay that I have used that hasn't been fired yet. I'm waiting to get my new kiln um, so I can fire that. Um, but when that's uh, done, then I shall show you that. So that's pot number one. And then moving on to pot number two, we have a different shape again, if I can move it here, in the orange. And if I can hold that up for you, again, you can see this lovely smoky grey blending and the white patches or the lighter coloured patches, very mottled looking. Um, of course, I will put a link uh, down below in my, in my video to my Etsy shop. Um, hopefully these ones will be on there by the time I've put, your, put the video on for you. I'm doing the video first. Hopefully I don't forget and upload it. And as you're watching, you click on my Etsy shop and you can't find these actual pots. Hopefully that won't happen. I will try my best to go to on my Etsy shop first of all. This one, I don't even know how to hold it up. It's so cute. I mean, oh my God, throw me down the stairs. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was <laughs> this excitement. It's, uh, we're watching too much um, Drag Nation, or whatever's on at the moment, with the drag queens. They are fabulous. And so are my pots. <laughs> so anyone. Anyway, look, moving on, there's another one there, a little baby one. That's the small, uh, well, not, there's another small one as well. So moving on from the orange, I decided to go into the lime green department with a touch of orange. So if I can hold this up, there's a nice round lovely round shape. I'm getting them really nice and even professional looking now, I think. And we've got the lime green and we've got the touch of orange dripped all over the top there. So it's just very organic uh, coming down. I keep forgetting where the camera is on this uh, thing. But anyway, there we are. So that's hopefully my big fingers aren't in the way, but they're not very big things. They're tiny, itty bitty things. 
and they're adorable. Right, moving on. So we're going into the green. We've got another, we've got three in the lime green section. There's a nice little uh, jug bottle type uh, shape there. And the green, it's not a solid green. It comes up as a mottled, uh, a mottled green. It's, a, it's actually, I think it's a pistachio uh, glaze that I'm using, but you can see it's got loads of texture. It's not just a plain, not just a, it's not just a solid color. It's texture. And then moving on to this one, another shape again. There we are, and that's again in the green. If you can see that properly. <laughs> Fabulous. And the last green one, again, which is a tiny one like this one. Same sort of height and size, um, but a different shape. This one's, t this one's taller with a thinner neck. This one's fatter and it's got a wider neck. So again, a different different shape, they're not all the same. No two are alike. So there we are, that's that one there. And two to go. We've got this round oval bowl shape, sort of like a, um, like a barrel, a barrel shape, as opposed to a round ball shape, different again. And this, oh my God, this is, Gorgeous. This is a, gre a greeny aqua green color, bluey green. I think it looks maybe slightly blue on the on the video, but um, it's definitely a greeny background. And these are bluey colored speckles. It even has yellow and gold colored speckles in as well. I don't know how clear you can see that. But I hope you can see it uh, well anyway. Absolutely beautiful. And the last one is completely different shape again. There we are. That's this one here. This one's got, I decided to groove uh, ridges in there so that when you put the uh, glaze on, it collects in the ridges and comes out lighter on the very edges, which glaze would naturally do. So it just gives it more and more texture. So I hold that up there. Uh, you can put flowers in all of them. They've all, they're not solid, so they're, they're all uh, actually hollow, as real pots would be. They're not just looking like that on the outside, they're usable flower pots. So there we are, that's the, that's that one there. So hopefully you can see those okay. So that is it folks. Um, I want to say cheers again. Um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these pots. I have to say, I'm absolutely loving them. Um, as I said, if you look on the link below, hopefully uh, I'll have a link there for the Etsy shop. Um, if not, my other videos that I've just done recently have also got the link to my Etsy shop. Um, so any, any one of the last few videos, I've definitely put it on there. Um, uh, my other pot video, ceramic pot, that's got the link on it. So not a problem, you can find me. Um, I've, uh, I think I've... Sold. I've only just started making the ceramic ones, the air dried ones I've been making, they're starting to sell already. Um, but the ceramic ones, I think I've sold, I've sold five now in the last couple of weeks to the, U the USA. So thank you, my friends from the USA. Um, I'm not sure if you're all um, uh, subscribers or if you just found me in the shop and you're not even listening to this, um, but whatever, thank you. It's so nice to be shipping to the to my friends over the pond, it really is. Um, right, so really lovely, lovely, lovely speaking to you. I really hope you are well. The most important thing in life is, is being well and happy, hope you're happy too. So take care of all and speak to you again soon. Bye.